five minutes later. Ugh. Hello, hello, hello. I am, let me check because I'm 28 weeks pregnant. I'm pretty sure I'm 28 weeks pregnant. And today's going to be a different type of video because I'm going to be packing my hospital bag. Yeah, I'm 28 weeks pregnant. I have 83 days left of pregnancy to be like full term. Excuse me. Um, When I went into labor the first time and had to go into the hospital because we called the number and told me what was going on and they suggested I go in. Uh, I didn't have a bag packed to tell anybody like, hey, I'm going into labor. Can you go to the house and get my bag? It's here. The bag was empty and the things were not in the bag. So I'm not doing that again because I had to, I, they, that, <laughs> they discharged me from the hospital and I had to come home laboring, pack my bag, labor some more. Then I went in. So I have just decided to do it earlier. That way, if I think something else, I can just add to the bag. But I know like a bag is packed and ready and waiting in the corner of the room or waiting in the car for whenever baby does start to come. And I'm just going to let that be that. And I feel like now is a perfect time because I'm not too fat and round to where I can't think straight or can't really remember. And I'm really getting in the momentum of getting things ready. So I feel like, okay, I'm prepared. So I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to be taking with me to the hospital. I want y'all to keep in mind, like, I'm pretty minimal. I'm pretty simple, pretty low maintenance. I don't need a whole bunch of stuff. The first time I went to the hospital, I had a carry-on suitcase. And that's a bit much. Even though I, it was pretty empty, but I had a carry-on suitcase. Okay? You don't need that much stuff. Because the hospital is going to provide you guys a, with a lot of things. Necessarily just for baby and for you as far as the aftercare. It's up to you to bring what makes you feel a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more at ease during the process and then after the process of just care for you once they allow you to have your first shower, things like that. Um, so let's just get right. Let's just let's just get right. OK. This is the hospital bag that I'll be taking. It's basically like a really small duffel, nothing too crazy, nothing overly big, but the first thing I am going to put in here is this grocery bag. It's like one of those reusable grocery bags. I'm bringing this because they're going to give you the hospital. It's going to give you a lot of things after as far as like diapers. Um, they're going to be wipes. There's going to be little hats, swaddles, um, paperwork, all that stuff. So you will be able to take a lot of that, a lot of that home and that's why I'm bringing an empty bag because when I tell y'all, I was taking diapers home. Okay, I did. I care. You, I'm taking all this stuff that all the stuff that's in the drawers is yours for the taking. So that's going in the bottom of the bag because I'm only gonna need that at the end of my stay, not necessarily like in the beginning. Next, we could do what I'm gonna be wearing home in the hospital is going to be just like an oversized tee. Um. It's going to sound crazy. I'm not bringing no underwear. You don't, you're not going to need underwear. You're going to have a child. You're going to be wearing a diaper. You and that baby are going to be wearing a diaper. So let's just get having to bring underwear out of the picture because you're just not going to be, you're going to be bleeding. It's going to be a whole lot of ishy, gishy, ishy coming out your coochie. So I like to wear biker shorts. Even when I'm on my period, I like to wear like the pad, the underwear, and then biker shorts just to keep the pad in place. So this is the same concept. These are a bit, a, these are a few sizes bigger. These are from my first um, labor that I have. These are extra large, and I'm getting them. A, I'm bringing them a few sizes bigger just because of the sole fact that when you have baby, your tummy does not go down right away. So having things that fit is really important. You're not gonna just like be fit right, right back into your regular clothes. So having a few sizes bigger, and plus you'll be wearing a diaper. You just you just need some space, okay? I got a lot going on down here. I don't want super tight clothes. And then my mom actually got me these, like, flared sweatpants. So I'm going to be wearing these home. They're like a pastel blue. They're really cute. They're like a, um, 
really loose sweatpants. So I'll be coming home in this as like my bye bye hospital. <laughs> the bye bye hospital fit is what I'm finna call it. Putting that just right in the bottom again. I'm not gonna put it on top because you're not gonna. That's gonna be like the last thing you pull out. So I'm gonna put all of this in here like so. Um, and some regular ankle socks for when I come home also, just because it's just easier. And then I like to, the first time I went, I brought slippers, which was cool and all, but after you have baby, like bending over to put your slippers on and off to get out the bed, is just a bit much. Like, I just pushed out a baby. My coochie hurts. My back hurts. I'm walking all slow. So instead, this time, I'm going to be bringing, like, the, these are actually yoga socks with the grippies on the bottom. And these are just going to stay on the entire time because I thought like that would be a lot easier rather than having to, like, bend down and put on my slippers, you know? And next... My personal items, again, I'm low maintenance. You're not going to need a whole bunch of stuff. I'm just bringing the stuff that will make me smell good and feel good Oop, after having a baby. Um, my own toothbrush, toothpaste, mouthwash. And then in here, I have like my face stuff. So I use Dermalogica. So I just took one of those travel containers and poured my face wash into an empty bottle. And then I have the daily microfoliant. I have some skin script toner. And some cotton pads so like a little small face kit to go essentially I like using bar soap so I have a bar soap it's just regular dove nothing crazy I don't want too many scents especially around all that blood I can smell it anyway all that blood and just like having leaking so much and I brought a extra large maxi pad um, for possibly when I go home because I do like to line my underwear extra because sometimes the car ride home could be a little bit longer so I'll bring a maxi pad and then I have some Lysol wipes and that's it for my little personal stuff oh wait oh no I got body washed yeah so yeah I'm gonna be bringing this Oop. and then also I'm gonna be bringing a phone charger because like you're gonna be facetiming people you couldn't be on your phone after you have baby so just having your own charger that way your phone can stay charged, so I'll be putting that in here also. Your, if you have an extra, like a spare, not even a spare driver's license, but a spare ID and insurance card, I recommend just putting it in something and then putting this in your hospital bag because before you can even get to a room, while you're going through the labor process, while I got you in that wheelchair, you're going to have to sign paperwork, you have to show them your ID, Show them your insurance. Answer what feels like 50 and 1 questions before you can even get admitted. And then they'll take you on back. So just knowing that this is in your hospital bag. That way you don't have to be like, damn, like, that's in my purse. It's not in my hospital bag. And you got to call someone and you're like, oh my gosh, like, can you bring my purse? Can you find my... Blah, blah, blah. So just having it in the hospital bag, I feel it just takes away that portion of it. Because that is going to be happening before you even find your way to the hospital bed to have your baby. And I would also advise if you're gonna get have like a printed form of a printed version of your birth plan, that would be a good place to kind of like keep it all together. You know? I'm I wore these a lot during when I came home and I really wish I would have taken these with me because when nurses are coming in and giving you checks, they're pushing on your belly. They're checking your vitals, they're checking your blood work, they're checking your heart, all those things. Um, when I wear my robe, it's like your, your titties and your coochie is just out. And obviously they don't care, but for my own comfort, I wish I was wearing something under my robe because even when you're breastfeeding, it's like, okay, bam, I got both my tits out. Versus if I had this on underneath and then have my robe on, I could pop out a titty, feed baby, my other titty is still covered, even though my robe is open. You only see in one titty. So that would be, I don't know. That's why I'm bringing a few of these. Um, these are from Target. These are like those $5 ones that you get in like the sleepwear underwear section. I'll 
put everything, if I can find all this stuff still, I'll link everything I can down below. So just look down there for anything you see that you like. I am bringing quite a few of these. So yeah, because I can't remember if when I breastfed my first, if my titties were leaking as much or was that just after? I really cannot remember. And I just want to stay fresh and, st and feel clean the entire duration of this. So I'm going to be bringing quite a few. To go along with that, I'm bringing a, a matching pajama set. Um, I brought this the first time too. I don't know, this makes you feel a little bit more put together after you have your baby. To feel like, you know, you don't look like a bag of dirt on FaceTime showing your newborn and showing your, your face. So bringing a matching pajama set. For me, I'm always really hot. My hospital is always nice and crispy cold. So shorts and a short sleeve version. And mind you, this is a button down. And that's why I say the bralette would be perfect because when they come in, if they give you EKG, if they give you blood work, I'm wearing a short sleeve. You could just have my arm, whatever, whatever, whatever. And you could leave the button down unbuttoned, pop titty out, breastfeed, get the latching, have your consultations, and they can see things clearly and you still feel covered. So I'm going to be bringing this. I'm only going to bring one because honestly, I'm a, I'm just... I'm not changing 50 million times. Even though I am there for some days, I know that like I'll, I'll be clean enough to like, really not get it too too dirty, I guess. And now, oh yeah. This is the Frida per per Perrier, Perrier bottle. I don't know. Perrier bottle, Perrier bottle, whatever. The one they give you at the hospital is like a regular upright with like a, a squeegee nozzle and you you can't really get up there. And when I came home, I used this so much more and it was so much more efficient. So I'm going to be taking this with me and I just pray that I'm able to not forget it in the bathroom when I leave because I'm not going to have one when I come back home. So I'm going to really try to like be cautious of like, keeping up with this and make sure I bring it back home with me um but again they're, they'll give you one it's just going to be an upright version and this this guy here when I say that hospital water gets hot like that so it's going to stay nice and warm it's going to feel so good I, I know I know and then now the things for the baby the baby just needs a few things really um I'm bringing my own swaddle because that hospital swaddle, that little white, red, blue, and pink one, it's like a cotton. And it don't really stretch. And I feel like this, the polyester ones, you can really get nice and snug and really swaddle baby, like, nice and tight. So I'm bringing my own this time because I just want my own. And I, that's it. That's it. <laughs> and then I'm going to, I can't remember, though, if the baby wore clothes underneath the swaddle or was my son just in a diaper and a hat in the swaddle I genuinely cannot remember and when I look at pictures I can't really see so I'm just going to bring three outfits um a short sleeve white tee a long sleeve not white tee onesie a long sleeve a short sleeve and then his coming home outfit is going to be something just super simple and it is a onesie that has the zipper don't for me don't don't bring no buttons nothing with buttons okay buttons should be illegal for the newborn onesie because he's going to be changing diapers every two hours bring something with a zipper i promise you i promise you i promise you the zippers are the only way to go okay only way to go that's gonna be his coming home outfit with a beanie I have two beanies um just <laughs> and then so I'm gonna pack these away and I really think that's it that I'm gonna be bringing it's super simple again I don't need 50 million and one things the only thing I don't have to show y'all is my snack bag I didn't bring any snacks my first and I really do regret that because obviously I can't get up, go get in the car and go get some Panda Express or in and out or anything. Like someone has to go for you. And even while they're out gone getting you food, you're sitting there hungry in the hospital for me. Like, you can't eat just in case you need. Ma'am, 
I'm gonna be pulling out some chills in my bag. <laughs> I don't really know what you're talking about. I'm laboring. Laboring is a really intense process, and I just don't get why they make you do that with no food. It just doesn't make sense to me. So I will have a snack bag, and when I say snack, it's just gonna be fruits, probably some celery sticks, some peanut butter, some granola, some cookies and chips, some water, um, things like that that I could just snack on that are pretty light. Obviously, I'm not going to do that. It's like super early to do that. So I'll be doing that after the fact. And then lastly, I'll be taking a blanket. I took a blanket with me last time and I don't regret it because the little hospital cotton wool, whatever the, whatever the fuck that is, it just is not cutting it. So bringing your own blanket and obviously just washing it after. So I'll be putting the blanket in the car and then this this right here a water canteen that hospital ice is so fire the little circles the little soft circle ice cube and that apple juice and that super cold water um i just feel like the plastic cup they give you when you're in the hospital just makes the water doesn't keep it cold long so if you want cold water and not like ice down ice down whatever you know what i'm trying to say you don't know the ice be gone um, I could just pour it in here and that way they don't have to like keep refilling it because I feel so bad every time I'm like, can you use some more ice or like, can you use some more water because like it's gone. Um, and they really are on you about drinking your fluids immediately after labor. So I'll be bringing this and keeping it just on my table and then drinking it from here. And then it's going to last a lot longer as far as like the cold and the ice and the water because this is like an insulated cup. So I'm bringing this along with me as well and that's gonna be it i don't need a whole bunch of stuff um yeah that's it so i really appreciate y'all for watching oh and this is my second time doing this outro because the audio keeps fucking up so forgive me i'm just trying to give y'all a proper goodbye okay um thank you guys so much for watching again a lot of the things i'm gonna really try to find either the exact thing or a similar like i guess dupe or something similar along the lines of what i have um i appreciate you guys so much for watching thank you for being part of this journey with me again 28 weeks pregnant we got we got a couple months left still to go so it's still gonna be a journey leave some comments down below because i talk back for real so i want to hear y'all's pregnancy journey y'all labor and delivery story anything you feel like i need to add or something i forgot let me know because i talk back for real um i appreciate you guys so much for watching you have no idea like growing my channel has been super crazy to me because i'm starting to like really see y'all and i feel like y'all see me too so it's like a weird mirror effect subscribe to my channel for more videos i'm literally always here i do nails i cook i clean i take care of my two-year-old sometimes i'm happy sometimes i'm sad sometimes i'm frustrated but needless to say, I'm literally always in this little box. Um, at the end of the day, we as moms, it's when you have a baby, it's our job to get these souls here onto earth and to birth new life. It always feels like it's always on us. It's everything under the sun and it's because it is. Um, whether you have a village or not, just know that I love you and you're not alone and that someone is always in the same bubble you're in if not worse if not better doesn't make it any different doesn't make your situation any less than or any greater just know that we're all trying and we're going to continue to try because that's the only thing we can do throughout life throughout pregnancy throughout our journeys throughout our process i love y'all so much thank y'all so much for watching and again bye Yeah, that's it.